This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, a paint crew marked off a section of the road into squares and then into triangles. For the squares shown, what is the area of the triangular part? So again, on the ASVAB and PICAT, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator. Therefore, in addition to being able to work out these problems by hand, you also have to commit some of these basic formulas to memory. In this case, we're finding the area of a triangle, so I'm going to start by writing down that formula. The formula to find the area of a triangle is area equals one half base times height. Now we have to use some information that we know about squares and triangles to fill in this formula accordingly. We know that this square has a side length of four inches, and you should know that one properties of squares is that all the sides are equal. In other words, if this side's four inches, this side's also gonna be four inches, this side's also gonna be four inches, and this side's also gonna be four inches. Now, again, this side length, as you can see, is the same thing as the base of our triangle. So we know B, the base of this triangle, is gonna be four inches. Now, we need to determine the height of this triangle. The height of a triangle is going to be from its highest point or its apex straight down, like so. And as you can see, this is going to be the same thing as the side length of the square. So the height of this triangle is also going to be 4 inches. So now that we know those two values, we can go ahead and plug them in. This becomes 1 half times base, which is 4 inches, times height, which is 4 inches, uh, 1 half times 4 times 4 is 16, so this is 1 half of 16. 1 half of 16 is 8. So the area of this triangle inside this square is 8 square inches. Now, if you couldn't do 1 half times 16 uh, mentally, and I know some of you are just starting to study for the ASVAB and PICAT for the very first time, what you would do is write 16 as a fraction by placing it over 1. Now you're multiplying two fractions, and when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. 1 times 16 is 16. 2 times 1 is 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. All right, so that is that one.